Back at Aspie, Indianapolis. I'm at Taco's booth with Rick Mayo of Taco and the infamous Taco After Dark. Oh, wow. Yeah. The one Where's that what? I haven't been on for a while. <laughs> That's right. So how you been? What, do you got? what are you going to show us today? I think uh, it'd be appropriate today to talk about domestic water recirculation. So uh, you can see behind me here, we've got some products, all stainless steel, NSF listed. We even got a composite product, our little 006, oh, oops, our little 006 infamous uh, turn down capability uh, circulator. We can go from four watts to 44 watts, just in a touch of a dial. We like to call that almost like a volume dial, right? We, you know, in the days of old, we used to talk about how big the pumps were, and everybody got excited about that. Nowadays, it's like how low can you go, and right. the, that's kind of our mantra. Um, uh, one of the things that we're doing, we think it makes sense in some applications, is the fact that is there a possibility that we could use a circulator in lieu of a balancing dial? You know, everybody understands that in in, a, in maybe a hotel or a motel, we've got the capability of pushing water around in a circle with one circulator, different zones having uh, an actual balancing device. What if we've used a small little circulator to create that pressure differential, you know, and create the mechanical energy that pushes things around in lieu of? We look at devices, um, if they're a balancing device, they need they need to be accessible. They need to have you know, shutoff capability, so isolation. They need to uh, have check valves if they're multiple zones. And uh, they might even need power if we're doing uh, Legionella mitigation or something. So we're thinking, well, we just want a consideration of a small circulator in lieu of those thermal balancing. That's a, that's a point of interest. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.